My name's Frank Future. I'm a tour operator in Port Stephens. Look at the place, magnificent. Tom Marie Headland behind me is an icon of Port Stephens. It's at the gateway to the port, which is the largest marine park in New South Wales. 98,000 hectares of coastal waters. We are particularly interested as custodians that this old World War II base for the gunnery uh, men in the army that protected uh, the port and the coastline. Over 80 years later, we are faced as a community and so is the government with what to do with these buildings. And we have some very significant ideas of how this could be utilized in educational purposes for kids that can come and stay and learn about our marine environment. And through a formation of a community trust, which would include National Parks and Wildlife Service, Warramai Local Aboriginal Land Council, the Port Stephens Council and the Headland Association with our nine groups uh, that we have within us. We already represent over 2,000 members of the community and we feel that education is a good path to take for this site. It's a heritage site, so the buildings can't be knocked down and we'd like to see them used for good purpose. It has been uh, housing folk with disabilities for many, many years, but now it's vacant, it's empty, and it's costing money for security and maintenance, and we need a really good plan to look after it into the future and give it something where people will remember it for, maybe throughout their whole lives. So let's look at the education opportunities of this. It's a community-driven project. We want to see it used for a really good purpose and education is the key.